politics across the globe are shared as a measure to contain the spread of COVID-19. In this crucial time, the structure of schooling and learning is badly built, both, by, both for the teachers as well as the students, especially for the little ones who were eager to join in grade 1. In this crucial time, parents are finding it very difficult to keep their children engaged. At the same time, students are also missing out their studies, their playtime, their school routine, especially their friends. Needless to say, the pandemic has transformed the age-old method of teaching, which is now replaced by technology. I am Sadia, maths teacher for grade 12, bringing you a few videos, few videos wherein the students can feel that they are in their school for some time. In these videos, we will be revising few activities, few topics that they have already learned in their UKG classes. I hope by now all of you have maintained a 200 pages notebook as instructed by your English and EBS teacher. In the same book, the last part of the book will be used for maths. You will be using this part of the book to complete your assignments and a bit of practice for the topics covered in these videos. I hope by now, all of you have maintained a 200 pages notebook as instructed by your English and EBS teacher. In the same book, the last part of the book will be used for maths. You will be using this part of the book to complete your assignments and a bit of practice for the topics covered in these videos. In this video, we shall revise the following topics. Numbers. In numbers, we have count and line, forward and backward counting, before, after and between numbers, one more than and one less than. I'm sure you all have learned this in your earlier classes. I repeat again, numbers, in numbers you are going to learn count and write, forward and backward counting, before, after, and between numbers, one less than and one more than. Right children? Numbers. Children, you all know numbers from 1 to 100. Right? Now, instead of writing that for the whole, I'm sure you're going to practice this writing of numbers 1 to 100 in your Max portion, Max Max book. Now, each number has its own special name. We all know number one is read as O N E one.
Right? 
That means there is one star more than the previous two stars. Again, when I say come back to the number line, from number two to number three, it is again one number more. Right, children? Now the same thing. If you notice all the numbers, there is one number more than the previous number. Look at this stars which is showing you number 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. How many stars? There are 4 stars here showing one star more than the previous 3 numbers. That means again there is one star more than this. Number 1. 
This is zero. And I have not drawn any star in this box. It means to say number zero has no value on its own. Right? If there is nothing, that means it is zero. And children, and the last topic for, for today is before, after, and between numbers. This can be easily understood through a number line. Now look at this number line. It is starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, when I say before number, that means we should only count the numbers in the forward direction. Randomly, let me pick a number. I have picked number 3. Now, before number, the number before 3, as you can see on the number 9, is 2. What we just have to do is to jump backward. When we jump backward from 3 to the previous number, we can see that it is number 2. Now, understand or to get the next number, the after number of 3, we have to count it in the forward direction. When we count the numbers in the forward direction and jump from 3 to 4, the next number here is number 4. Now, look at this. The number before 3 is 2. The number after 3 is number 4. So, number 3 is between 2 and 4. Let's take another example. And then we let me pick number 7. Now, to know the number before number 7, we have to count in the reverse direction. The number previous to number six, 7 is number 6. Now, to know the after number of the number 7, we have to jump or count in the forward direction. Now, let me jump and see if we find it is number 8. Right? Now, number 6 is the number before 7. Now, number 9, 8 is the number after number 7. Number 7 is between 6 and 8. Right children, I hope I am clear with these topics. Children, as I have told you in the beginning of the video, I am not making you to write numbers 1 to 100 nor the number names. Now it's time to pick your book and pencil to complete this homework. Your first homework is write numbers from 1 to 300 and secondly write the number names Thank you.